I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I have done my uh, specialization in internal medicine. I actually also practice diabetology as well as cardiovascular medicine. And uh, I practice at Stanford Hospital at Kaikondrahalli, Bangalore. The question is about uh, AKT4, which stands for anti cox therapy. And uh, we all know that we use Cox word for tuberculosis. And uh, also the question says that it is for abdominal tuberculosis. So abdominal tuberculosis is not the only uh, criteria or the only system where AKT4 is used. AKT4 can be used for tuberculosis in any other part of the body also. So I would not stress on the treatment aspect of abdominal tuberculosis. It is basically the question about the directions and uh, how to use AKT4. Now AKT4 as the word says there are four types of medicines in AKT4 and these medicines are supposed to be used for tuberculosis therapy. Tuberculosis therapy uh, spans for various months to maybe a year or more depending upon the doctor's advice or doctor's interpretation of the disease. Now there are international guidelines also on the use of AKT4. Even WHO has given some guidance and uh, internationally uh, when they are talking about uh, countries like India, there are certain directions which have been uh, improvised and modified because the usage and the rampantness of the disease, the severity of the disease, the resistance of the disease varies from country to country across the world. So we have uh, AKT4 being used in terms of guidelines, in terms of the sponsors or the innovators uh, R&D decisions and it also depends upon the patient's condition. So nothing is sacrosanct. So the doctor can see the patient and decide, suppose the patient cannot tolerate empty stomach medicines, then the doctor will say, okay, you can have tea, coffee or a snack in the morning and then take the medicine. But ideally, two of the medicines from AKT4 can be used in empty stomach because their efficacy increases. But it is not sacrosanct as I said because the patient's condition also is quite important for the doctor to decide. Then comes the frequency of these medicines. So when we say AKT4, it might have one molecule called as pyrazinamide which has to be used twice a day. And this comes in the whole strip. So it can be dispensed separately. It can also be dispensed in a combination therapy. And all these factors are only as a guidance given to us. But a doctor and a patient sits together and decides what is the compliance level, what is the tolerance level of these medicines and how many months or how many years these medicines, which type of medicine has to be continued, which has to be discontinued. So there are various aspects to it. But generally it is based upon empty stomach, twice a day therapy and how you can prevent the side effects of these medicines.